Hello, and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. First of all, uh, for the live streaming situation and stuff, I made another video. Um, it'll be pinned in the as the first comment on uh, this video, so go check that out. Help me out if you can. But this uh, particular video is going to be talking about Chainlink and a new partnership with Chillaz integration and why I think Chainlink could be the next coin to really go parabolic, even though it has already gone parabolic last year. It can do that again. Um, one thing is Chainlink wasn't actually there last time the market really bull ran. So we haven't seen what Chainlink can do in a bull run, which really, uh, which is really kind of exciting because Chainlink's floor keeps on getting higher and higher. And we don't really know where the ceiling is. This latest partnership was Chillaz and they want to integrate the Oracle technology like everyone else uh, that allows their uh, blockchain Tech, their blockchain data to actually communicate with non-blockchain database data or you know the old database which is very important because i know a lot of us are trapped in cryptocurrency and think everything runs by blockchain but but it doesn't uh, most of the world is still run by the traditional databases if not paper and pencil but we're just going to go with traditional databases and there's tons and tons and tons of that data that's been built up over the decades that actually needs to be either converted or needs to be able to talk to blockchain data and blockchain technology. And that's where Chainlink comes in. And Chainlink is not specific to like one niche or it can only operate in one niche or industry. It can it actually has a huge use across all industries. And I think though it'll have uses for the next 5, 10, 15 years. I mean, yes, eventually some of these uh, blockchains will have their own oracles, but we're still kind of far away from that. And Chainlink has the built in solution right now that they can actually use. Now, Chillaz obviously is a sports fan coin. Um, Ethereum has started actually tokenizing sports teams, and Chillaz is at the forefront of that. Of course, a lot of these sports teams have old data in databases, and they need that data to communicate with this new blockchain technology. And bam, that's where Chainlink actually comes in. We also know they're working with R3 and many, many other companies. I've heard of at least six or seven partnerships already um, with Chainlink in the last couple of months. And I think these deployments are coming pretty fast because um, they kind of like a, need an interfacing of data from these oracles before they can actually do anything. So bam, Chainlink is right in the middle of everything. And they could actually be bridging thousands of products or hundreds or thousands of projects in the future, including logistics, finances, sports, um, and other specific industries. Because like the interfacing of data, the communication of data between old and new technology is ex incredibly important. And if you didn't know that, then you haven't really worked in the tech industry. Having worked in the tech industry some, um, in terms of like hospital software, bridging like old data and new data is one of those things that everyone needs to do at any time they implement something. So Chainlink could actually potentially be in the middle of thousands and hundreds of thousands of implementations, and that will rise demand for the coin. So like I said, as they get more and more uh, projects working with more and more other blockchain projects, they're going to rise more and more in prominence and their coins going to get more and more value. Um, I'm not completely sure like how much usage the coin actually gets, but it is used in these smart contracts and they actually might be growing faster than all these other projects because of utility value. Because anytime someone needs to do a conversion, anytime someone needs like old data to communicate with new databases, they're going to actually need Chainlink. So it's going to see a lot of use. Now Chainlink started growing around last year at this time, grew from like 20 cents to four bucks, went back to 170 and now it's continuing its way up. There was a ceiling at $4 for a long time, but it smashed that ceiling and Bitcoin retracing has not caused Chainlink to retrace below that ceiling. Ceiling, So that the $4 might actually be acting as a price for now. And I still think like compared to where Chainlink might be a couple of years from now, and especially during a bull run, $4 actually might be very cheap. I mean, Chainlink might be $40 or more in the next bull run. So that's something you really have to look out for. I think it's actually a fairly safe investment because there's so much demand for this. And I actually think like utility wise, it will probably grow a lot faster than some of the other projects because a lot of the other projects will end up depending on Chainlink. So during a bull run, this thing could actually go parabolic. It has only a billion supplies. So if it gets to like, you know, a hundred billion in terms of market cap, that's a hundred dollars a coin right there. Not saying it'll actually get that high, uh, but looking at where all the market caps went um, the last time around, 
And this time around, most of the uh, analysts have are actually predicting a higher market cap than the 2017 bull run. You can see that it can get to like several dozen dollars on a bull run, and it might actually be able to sustain better than most other projects. So this is definitely um, an investment that you would actually want to take a look at. I think it's very, very solid. I think the use case is much more solid than most other coins. And the project is actually being used or planned to be used in many, many industries. So this is one of those coins that could definitely go parabolic. The newest um, partnership with Chillaz should actually give it a step into the sports teams. And I think like uh, there's just going to be a lot of industries that are going to actually be using Chainlink. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. And uh, please uh, check out that first link that's actually pinned. Help me uh, get that strike off my account so I can actually stream on YouTube again without a fear of getting another strike. So thank you and have a nice day.